Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn about homogeneity of dimension in an equation. According to this principle, a physical quantity will be dimensionally correct if the dimensions of all the terms occurring on both sides of the equation are the same. Okay. So let's consider an example. So let us consider the equation s is equals to ut plus half a t square. This is the kinematic equation uh, that uh, we learn in the chapter motion in one dimension. So here s is the distance, u is the velocity, a is the acceleration and t is the time. Now we need to check uh, whether each quantities on the left hand side and the right hand side have the same dimension or not. If uh, each quantities that is s, ut and half a t square have the same dimensions then we can say that this equation is dimensionally correct so for uh, so let's uh, con consider the dimension of the left hand side so this is a single quantity s yes, and we know uh, this is a uh, s represents length so its dimension will be l only l okay now let's find the dimension of the first term on the right hand side so it is ut so we need to find the dimension of u times t that is velocity times time so ut is equals to dimension of ut is equals to dimension of u times dimension of time so now we know that dimension of velocity is l t inverse and dimension of time is simply t okay so if you collect the similar quantities then uh, we can write l t to the power minus 1 plus 1 which is equals to minus 1 and plus 1 will be equals to 0 so t to the power 0 is equals to 1 and so we will we will only left with l so the dimension of ut is l now let us check the dimension of the second term on the right hand side that is the dimension of half a t square now the dimension of half this is a dimensionless constant so uh, the dimension and half doesn't have any dimension so we need to find the dimension of a and t okay so a is the acceleration so dimension of acceleration is l t to the power minus 2 and time square t square is time square so that is t square capital t square so now we need to collect similar terms so l t to the power minus 2 plus t okay now minus 2 plus 2 is equals to 0 so t to the power 0 is 1 and it is equals to l so we can say that the dimension of each term on this equation uh, are equal that is will is equals to l so this equation is dimensionally correct okay so now let's uh, solve this problem find the dimension of g in the equation if g is equals to g m1 m2 by r square where m's are the masses and r is the distance between them and if g is the gravitational attraction between the masses so this is the newton's gravitational uh, force or uh, formula for the gravitational attraction so if g is equals to g m1 m2 over r square so now from homogeneity of a dimensional equation so we can say that the dimension of left hand side must be equals to dimension of right hand side okay so now the dimension of left hand side is equals to the dimension of force which is equals to m l t to the power minus 2. So this must also have so the uh, right hand side must also have uh, this same dimension okay. So uh, so right the right hand side is g m1 m2 by r square which is uh, whose dimension must be equals to m l t to the power minus 2. So uh, g m1 m2 by r square is equals to ml t to the power minus 2 therefore dimension of g must be equals to ml t to the power minus 2 times r square by m1 dimension of m1 dimension of m2 now here r square represents length then r uh, sorry here r represents length so the dimension of r square must be equals to l square now m1 m2 are the masses so dimension of m1 m2 will be equals to m times m that is m square okay so write them like this explicitly so now if you collect the similar quantities 
then you will get m to the power 1 minus 2 l to the power 1 plus 2 and t to the power minus 2 so as you can see that uh, there is on, uh, there are two m's m to the power 1 and m to the power minus 2 this uh, will give you m to the power minus 1 and l to the power 3 l cube and t to the power minus 2 therefore dimensional formula for g will be m inverse l cube t to the power minus 2 so this is the answer of this question okay so now uh, let's solve this problem too so find the dimension of a by b in the equation f is equals to a root over x plus b t square where f is force x is the distance and t is time okay so from homogeneity of dimensional equation we can say that each term will uh, the dimension of each term on the right hand side must be equals to dimension of the uh, term in the left hand side that is dimension of a square root of x must be equals to dimension of f and similar for the second term dimension of bt square must be equals to dimension of f so the dimension we know that dimension of force is uh, so dimension of a that is dimension of a is a mil t to the power minus 2 so uh, a uh, square root x will also have this same dimension a mil t to the power minus 2 okay uh, so we can write that dimension of a square root of x is equals to dimension of a times dimension of square root of x so which is equals to dimension of f therefore we can say that dimension of a must be equals to dimension of f by dimension of square root x now x is length so uh, f is a mil to the power minus 2 and l to the power half as uh, there is square root x okay therefore uh, it is equals to m l to the power 1 minus half t to the power minus 2 so uh, there is a, a square root x so that's why i wrote l to the power 1 minus half okay therefore dimension of a is uh, a is equals to a mil half to the power half t to the power minus 2 now for the second term its dimension will also be equals to f therefore dimension of b will be equals to dimension of f by dimension of t square t represents time so uh, it is equals to capital t square so we have uh, dimension of b is equals to ml t to the power minus 4 that is t to the power minus 2 minus 2 okay so 2 minus 2 will give you minus 4 therefore we now we need to find the dimension of a over b so the dimension of a over b will be equals to uh, so first uh, in the numerator we write i wrote the dimension of a and uh, in the denominator we i wrote the uh, dimension of b now in, uh, in both cases numerator and denominator have m to the power 1 so it is m to the power 1 minus 1 l to the power half minus 1 t to the power minus 2 plus 4 okay so it is equals to m to the power 0 l to the power minus half t to the power 2 or t square so this is the dimensional formula of the quantity a over b okay so now let's solve another question so the van der Waals equation for a gas is t plus a v square v minus b equals to rt now we need to determine the dimension of a and b now to solve this problem we uh, we are going to use a property that dimensionally similar quantities can be added or subtracted okay so to add a quantity with pressure that quantity must have must also have the dimension of pressure okay so a over v square must have the dimension of pressure then uh, we can add the add this quantity with p therefore we can say that dimension of a will be equals to dimension of p times dimension of v square so here p is the pressure and v is the volume so p can be written as force per unit area so if dimension of f by dimension of a and v square so now we know that uh, obviously one can uh, directly write the dimensional formula for p but uh, if uh, uh, one can't remember the dimensional formula of p then uh, you can just use the relationship between force and pressure 
like this that is pressure is equals to force per unit area uh, so uh, we don't need to remember everything uh, for all the times so we just can use these uh, relations so yeah, now again uh, you can write that f is equals to m a but uh, here i'm going to uh, use that dimensional formula for force so which is ml t to the power minus 2 and v square is l q so v is the volume so its dimensional formula must be l q and its square and area is length square okay so now collecting similar terms similar quantities so we can write m l to the power 1 plus 6 minus 2 and t to the power minus 2 so dimensional formula for a is m l to the power 5 t to the power minus 2 similarly we can find the dimensional formula for b and uh, we can uh, we can only subtract b from b if it has also the dimension of volume okay so dimension of b is l q that is uh, which is equals to the dimension of volume so uh, this is the answer the dimension of a and b so that's it for this video see you in the next video